Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. A few days ago, I did a video demonstrating the new AI Sky replacement filter that's going to be available in Luminar 4. Many people were amazed. Some people were a bit incredulous. A couple people were kind of mean. But many people had questions. In this video, I'm going to answer two of the more common questions I received. Before we begin, if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to click on that little bell so you get updates. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know of someone that would like this video, share it. And finally, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Anthony Morganti, and I'll have a link to that in the description below the video, along with a lot of other info that you may find interesting. All right, now. You may remember a few days ago I did that video where I demonstrated how you could replace a sky in less than five seconds, just really a couple clicks, the sky's replaced. People were amazed. And one of the more common questions I received was, what if the existing sky already has clouds in it? How does it work? Well, I have this image here. As you could see, it already has clouds in it. And as a matter of fact, it has a bunch of birds in it as well. Over here, jutting out from the weeds, it has some windmills. And how would it do on a job like this? Well, let's see. Let's go over to this new creative tab that's in Luminar 4 and up to AI Sky Replacement. We'll go to Sky Selection, and I'll just pick the first one, Blue Sky 1. And there, it replaced it perfectly. Perfectly. Did I say perfectly? Perfectly. Look at the birds. Didn't even affect them, even left that bird out in the corner there. The windmills are there, even those little strands of grass. Look at that. Perfect. I mean, it is amazing. Now, I have another image because another question I received is, what if the horizon line isn't very well defined? Well, technically, the horizon line probably isn't well defined there either. But here's one where there's no horizon line at all. It's just a bunch of buildings. There's also antennas coming up from those buildings. How would it do on an image like this? So we'll go to sky selection. And for this, why don't we pick a dramatic sunset one? I don't know what that looks like. Bam. Replaced it just fine. It didn't overlap any of the buildings. It left the antennas in place. Let it render. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, one other thing, uh, wasn't necessarily a comment, but I believe someone kind of was left an incredulous kind of nasty comment about, well, what good is this? There's going to be thousands of images now with all the same sky in it. Well, I did mention in the last video that you don't have to use any of their built-in skies. You could load your own sky in this if you'd like. So we'll go to load custom sky image. And on my desktop, I have a sky right here. And we'll just, now this is just a sky image that I have, not one that came with Luminar. And you can see it replaces it with my own sky image. So you could go out and take a bunch of photographs of clouds, uh, anything that's, if you happen to have an interesting sunset, a beautiful sunset, uh, interesting cloud patterns, interesting light in the sky, be sure to take some stock photos. And then you could use Luminar 4 and use the, your own skies, your own unique skies, and place them in your own unique photos to come up with an image. And I did mention in the last video, people were talking about it still, I don't think they hear me, is I am going to do a future video where I'm going to go into more detail. You can see now I just replaced the sky. I didn't do anything else. You can see there's there's sliders here for horizontal blending, horizontal position, relight the ski, uh, scene, uh, global sky. You have advanced settings to close gaps. You could flip the sky, click that. You just flip the sky horizontally click it again, it flips back the other way. So um, there's a lot we could still do. And also there's masking available, so we could use a mask as well. So I will do videos in the future where I'll go into a little more depth about this. But I did want to answer these two questions because I received a lot of uh, that question, those two questions. It's just a lot of people asking me. Um, and I think it's incredible. And I think this, I mean, look at that. It left the birds there and 
replaces the sky beautifully. So again, in the description below the video, I'm going to have links uh, to Skylum Software. You could check out, uh, they're having a, is the making of this video, they're having a pre-sale. You could save some money on it and um, I think they have some extras too. So check it out um, all again in the description below the video. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.